Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here in Boulder Canyon. I'm thinking that maybe we should tidy the sheep up a little bit before we go and do too much else, and also the chickens. I mean, the, the rest of the stuff for them... Oh, by the way, straw is at 54, so it's still a little bit low. We could... we It did go up to 66, didn't it? I'm, I'm starting to think maybe we should just keep the straw ready for the cows and the pigs. Um, I didn't actually state if we had to put straw... Oh, no, we do. Seasons is where you can choose whether you put them in, uh, put it in or not. So, we will. Um, animals over here. Cleanliness is down. We could do with a bit of food going into them, but they're all right, really. Uh, chickens could do with a little bit of water. So, I will run over here and put the water going like that. And... These pallets here, as you can see, are very nearly almost full. We are fast approaching the limit of the wool that we can put here, and we are not... We, we, we've got no space. We've got no space for any more wool, so we could really do with having some more, but we want to do a little bit of a tidy up. So before I go and get the new cultivator to finish doing the field up there, I'm going to get this one. So what the plan is, like I said in yesterday's episode, I am going to... Alright, I'm going to take that one there. Plan is, I'm going to sell the cultivator that we've got, the little one right there, and I'm going to get a bigger cultivator from the shop. We're going to buy a disc cultivator. There is a 6 meter disc cultivator that we can get that would be absolutely perfect. We've got the mod create fields with see in there i put the gray tip the grain over the fence that was a bit of a mistake wasn't it um there is a mod um that we've got that we can create fields using um so if we tip it out here it still goes into the trough uh we create fields using a cultivator and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a disc cultivator, and we're going to use that. Because in real life, going over the ground with a disc cultivator first to help break up the um, material on the surface is actually quite a common thing. Especially if it's new ground that hasn't been cultivated before or not been cultivated for a very long time. Um, it definitely wouldn't be unusual to do something like that just to help prepare it for the plow. And to make life a little bit easier for the plough as well, because this is not an easy job for the plough to go through all that. Right, we'll tip that lot out there. It is a little bit weird that you can do that, really, that you can just you can pick it up and you can tip it straight down like that. Um, almost like the animals don't really need to be as messy as they're being. But anyway, they, 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 that's, what's done is done. And they've got enough food to keep them going for a minute. We've also got plenty of water. I'll put a little drop more in, but we don't really need to worry about it. And this one we will go and put... I will eventually, I think, move the um, arm and everything. But for now, I'm going to leave it over here where, it, where we've been storing it. I do think I need to get a pallet, maybe two pallets, and put them over by the wool. Got... Um, I, th I think that might be a sensible idea. So if I grab the pallet forks a second, and we use those to just take two of those, pa well, the two pallets that we've got there, I'll take them over and put them beside the sheep pen. That way, the wool will keep producing, because what we've got there at the moment, we don't have enough space for new pallets to spawn, and once that last pallet fills up, then we're not going to have any room for any more wool, and we want room for more wool. We're going to need room for more wool because we, we we need to wait for the price to come back up, which is going to be tomorrow at the earliest. Even if it starts rising right now, it's still not going to actually be ready to do anything until tomorrow. Um, so we're going to need to make sure that the wool that's being produced by these sheep is still being produced. Now, fortunately, we do have these nice big pallets that we can drop down here, which does make a big difference. So I can just nudge that into there like that. Drop that one down. And I'll go and get the other one as well. Not sure how often we will need to use the two spare pallets that we've got. I think I might just leave the two down next to the sheep in future. We'll unload them off the auto load trailer and we'll leave them next to the sheep pen. And then we can just push all six of them along when two on the end are full. 
shove them all along, and the next two will start filling up. Might be a better way of doing it. Right, bring you in around that way like that. And then over like that. I think that's enough. And then bring that one in. Lower it down. And we're done. Right, excellent. There's that one done. I've got two more pallets in there that can start accumulating some more wool. Next, we need to get that cultivator over to the dealership and we need to get it sold so that we can get the new one back. That we don't need our own tractor for because the dealership is going to come and collect that cultivator and then they will deliver the new one, which I think is absolutely wonderful of them. I really do. I think that is an absolutely amazing thing for them to go and do. So we're going to go into here. And as this is a simulator... We're going to simulate the process of them coming along and collecting the new item. Not that one. Where am I simulating? Uh, no. Wait, what? Oh, that's why. I'm looking at this truck over here. It's right next to the truck. There it is. That's the one that I want. Reset the polymag right there. Yes, okay. And then we can go from here over to the shop over here. We will get that tractor there, the shop tractor, and go and put that cultivator back over there so that it can be serviced and then returned to the shop and sold. We will get the money for it. So they're, go they're just... They're, we're, oh, we're not actually doing this. We're, we're just witnessing... The people over at the shop going about their day-to-day -day life do doing all of the stuff that they would normally do. Quite sure why he'd want to throw that one around like that. But hey, the, who, who, who are we to question how they run their operation over here? It's nothing to do with us. $4,400 for that one. Okay, and now we need to go over here and we want to get a cultivator. A disc cultivator and it's going to be the 6 meter one. Because I reckon that our small tractor will be able to handle the disc... This one right here is 143 horsepower. I reckon it will be able to handle the disc cultivator. So we want to go to disc harrows right here. And it's that one that I'm looking at. That one right there. Um, I've got... That one's 31,000. It's a 6 meter harrow. This one here is 5 meters, requires 140 horsepower. This one requires 180 horsepower at 6 meters. Maybe we'll go with that one. 5 meters wide. It's got wheels on it as well. It's a little bit more to it than just the discs. Um wondering about this one. I've used this one before and I have had issues with it. I have had some slight problems with this one. It um it tends to it doesn't tend to follow very well. It tends to bounce around a little bit. It's a little bit excessive. I, I I'm not that keen on it. So I'll go with this one. It says 180, but I reckon that our smaller tractor would be able to cope with it. At least I'm hoping it would. Okay, I don't want anything extra on that one. I'm just going to buy it exactly as it is. Thirty-one thousand dollars like that. And there is our new cultivator. So we'll go over to the tractor and we'll get it loaded onto the truck. And then the truck can deliver it back to the yard and we can carry on plowing our field. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plow the field with the cultivator. And then once that's done, I'm going to put the plower, the, the, the plower, I'm going to put the plow going on the tractor again on the case tractor and I'm going to use the hired help and I'm going to start plowing that field so it will all get plowed it will it will not only get cultivated but th that will sort of create the marker for the new field and then we'll be able to plow it properly afterwards so that we don't have the requires plowing requirement across the field although it's going to be grass to start with and that doesn't get affected by the plowing requirement the only reason i want to get rid of the plowing requirement is so that when um well if and when we decide that we want to put some different crops on it it's already available i'm not sure that we're going to need to though not sure that we're going to need to put other crops on there well we'll wait and see but we'll see how it works out right so i want you there and then i want to bring this one round like this, and 
back up here. And I want to get that one on there like that. There we go. We've lifted that one up. And we're away. Hopefully, this cultivator will stay right where it is on the back of the truck. And we can run it right back to the yard. I did think about getting some more pallets, uh, for maybe some wool pallets um, to use back at the yard, but I don't think I will. I think eight is enough. If we can't do it with eight, then too bad. We'll just have to sort of work our way around it. But um, I don't think that we're going to need more than eight pallets. I can't imagine that we will. Alright, bring this round, round here. This map has got some quite serious potential really I mean if you were to go and clear all of the trees off of this map you you could make some pretty big fields right the way across it it's just such a time consuming job removing all the trees I mean we, we've sort of gotten a bit of an idea during the course of this series just how much of a time consuming job it would be to remove all of the trees. We've only done a small patch and it's taken us a very, very long time. To the point, I mean, we only, that was the first patch of land that we had and we've not bought any more land. And originally, I thought that we would have to buy more land and we would have to expand our fields even further. But now I'm thinking, given how much we've done and how long it's taken us, I'm, well, it's, it's not really how long it's taken us, just how much we've done. I don't think that we will actually need, in order to be able to complete the series, any more land. I think that as far as land goes, we're actually going to be alright. Um, it would be interesting to see how long it would take to do the rest of it, but it's not something that I wish to do. Um, if I can get away with it, I would rather not um, go and buy more land, just because of the huge amount of time that it would take in order to be able to complete that particular job. I'm actually going to unload it up here. I'm going to stop right here, and this is where I'm going to unload it. So I'm going to unhitch that one there, like that, and then I'm going to drive this one forward over to here. We will go and get our tractor, and we'll bring it up. So we'll stop that one there, and we will get our tractor here. That plow can be put back over here for a minute, and we can get that cultivator going. Right, bring you, you, you can go to there. I've got two tree stumps that I need to do something with at the moment. So I'm thinking I will get the stump grinder, and I will run up, and I will do those two stumps before I start working with the cultivator again. And I can always leave this one at the top, and we can go and get it another time. And... What else are we? We haven't got anything else that I need to worry about at the moment. I just want to go up there and, and do this bit. So we're going to go straight up this way. Right up across the field. If I see another stump on the way up through, then I will grab it. And if I don't, I won't. I'm not going to have to worry about it. Am I? So there's one up there that was actually really small. It was like right, right down close to the ground. Very easily missed. And then we've got one other. Now, I'm hoping... Oh, no, the, the cultivator... Just doing the normal stuff with the cultivator is not going to make any difference to anything. So, it's that one right there. You know, I don't even know if that is a stump. I think it is. Right. That may not have been a stump. That might have been a little wedge that was left over from doing some cutting. It is possible. We have had that before. I'm going to leave this stump grinder right there near the bridge. There was one other thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to... Let's uh, lower that one down. Do that up through there like that. Right. One other thing I want to do is I wanted to put a fence all along the bottom down there. Uh, like right along the, the side there. And I we might go and do that in a minute. Um... No, actually, I'm not going to do it yet. I'll leave that until tomorrow because I've not done any of the cultivating yet. So rather than having to do all, like, spend an entire episode doing exactly the same job all the way through, um, we can break it up a little bit by doing this for the rest of this episode. And then tomorrow we can do some of the fence stuff and then we can do some more work on the plowing. So that way we, we get to break things up a little bit. So I'm going to, that one's going to drive off back to the shop. That's what he's doing right now. 
It may look like I'm pressing reset here and, and using some sort of hideous uh, magical teleportation device. I'm really not. He's, he's just driven himself back off to the shop. He's, he's a quick worker as well. He's, he's, he's very, very fast doing that. So he's, he was straight back to the shop without any trouble whatsoever. So we unfold this bad boy right here. And we bring it on round this way. And then we need to go Alt-C to start up the, um, who's me call it, thingamajiggy, right? And then I lower it down there like that, and I press Y to allow create fields, and then Alt-E twice to start that. It's now creating fields and cultivating at the same time. And I'll stop there, and I'll go Alt-E again, like that, and then Control-S. So this is a 6 meter. I will auto width 19.6, and then I'm going to drop that, oops, uh, drop that down a little bit. So that I, you know, the overlap is enough that uh, going down the side of the hill is not going to cause us any problems. And we will do it like that. Right, and then I will go alt no, not Alt-C, Alt-X, like that, and we're away. Right, so this is marking out the new field. It's twice the width of the plow. The plow is three meter, or three and a half meters, so it's a little bit less than twice the width. Uh, but it's going to, it's also, well, I was going to say it's faster. It might be a little bit faster. It's creating the field, anyway. That is the only thing that matters, is that we are currently creating a brand new field. And that is what we wanted. That was the whole aim of this particular exercise. So we will create this field all the way along here. And then once we've done that, we will, yeah, like I said, in our next episode, we will put fence all the way down that side down there. I think that would be quite a good thing to go and do. And then, uh, while I'm, actually, I don't know. I was just thinking, while I'm putting the fence along, Let's put you going up there, and we'll run you along here like this. Okay, so it's starting to come down the hill, and at the moment, it's overlapping enough. As long as it keeps overlapping enough, that's all that matters. We, it's better to overlap a bit more and do an extra run than it is to have little patches that don't get ploughed up at all, because I don't want any part of this not becoming a field. Now, if I have a look on here, and I go on to growth, and I go to soil composition, you can see it still has a requirement for being ploughed. And yes, we've got a requirement for uh, putting lime on as well. The lime is not going to matter unless we actually want to plant something other than grass up here. At the moment, I don't want to plant anything other than grass. I just want a big grass field. We will be able to keep hay up here. We'll silage bales is probably going to be our first harvest off of this off the entire great big field we'll do silage bales and those will sell for a fortune we will make an absolute boatload of money out of that which should be then enough to be able to get the cattle pen and maybe even the pig pen as well so if we do get enough out of all of that excellent that means then we should also um be able to get enough food and um, we, we get money from one round and then the second round will be all the food that we require for the cows pretty much. Um, we're going to need one harvest of hay, so we've got a load of hay up here and then we're going to want one harvest of silage, whether that is bales using the um, global mod company, I'll see what you say from yesterday's episode and um, or we do the traditional silage clamp but we will do we will use grass to make the silage i'm not planning to do maize silage i'm planning to do grass to make the silage um and once we've done all of that we'll then be able to see what we want to do with this field up here whether we think that it will be a good idea to keep this field as grass and keep doing more grass crops out of it or if we want to do um other crops in order to really give the pigs a bit of a boost as well because I mean we could plant all of this with other crops that will help the pigs out quite a bit get them going a little bit faster 
it's not going to take all that long to get both the pigs and the cows up to maximum, I don't think. Not with all of this extra land that we've now got. This this is really going to make the difference, this is. This is, this is the bit that's, like, the, the this is game-changing. That's what this is. This is properly game-changing, what we've got right here. And so if we can keep working our way through... I'm wondering if I should go and get the plough on the other track. I don't know if the other tractor would even be able to cope with it. But it might be... Let's let's do that a minute. We'll leave that one up there, just where he's running. And we will run down here. Grab this tractor. I will... Take you off of there. And I will go and get that plough. And I will see if this tractor can move that plough at all. If the tractor is capable of doing anything with the plough... Excellent. We can have it just with the hired help doing the ploughing up there behind the cultivator. Because the cultivator is going over with the discs and it is breaking up the surface and then the plough is going to go through. This is a deep ripper. Um, technically, this tractor probably wouldn't want to be doing deep ripping something like this because of all the roots and everything. It would really, really, really make this tractor struggle. That being said... I still think we should give it a chance. Because sometimes... And, oh, you know, tractors can surprise you. It's amazing just how powerful a tractor can be when it puts its mind to it. And this tractor is going to put its mind to it right now. So I bring you around here. It shouldn't be wanting to go and plough anything that it shouldn't be ploughing. So I can just bring you over there like that, I'm hoping. And press H right there. And he is doing a fantastic job. He's struggling a bit to pull the plow. But that's what we'd expect. He is actually doing it. So yes, despite the fact that he is struggling, he is still doing it. And that is the main thing. So long as he can keep going with that, that would be great. We can keep going with the discs down here. That means that that field will get properly ploughed all the way along. We'll see in a minute whether the plough is going to do... Whether the driver is going to do anything stupid like drive into the um, canyon up there. Because if it does, we're in trouble. We've got to buy the tractor back. And we don't have the money to do that. That's going to be rather difficult. I really hope that he doesn't do that. That would be rather painful to observe. I mean, it shouldn't... I've got a reasonable bit of a, a, a run all the way around the edge. This is why I want the fence up there. We will do that on the next episode. We will put the fence up along there. But it is this is making me nervous. He's making... Stop! Where are you going? What are you doing? Uh, yeah, he's definitely making me nervous. He went down... Good grief. I don't, I don't quite know how far down he went, but he did go in between those trees there a bit. Let me go into here, and we will go to decoration. I've got some more money for some more trees now. Um, and I will take... Uh, I've got a poplar here I could put in. Let's try putting in a poplar tree up here. I haven't got any of them up until now. We'll put one of those up there. Uh, another one there. And I'm not going to put any more of them because they generally irritate me. They, they're, they're a little bit too big hanging over things. We'll try an extra large birch over here. I'm putting these down the bank so they're far enough away from the field that they're not going to cause me any grief. I don't want them close to the field. Put another one over here and another one over here. Right, there we go. There's there's some more trees. That that all hopefully help a little bit and they are far enough away that they won't cause me any problems even better hopefully that plow doesn't decide to go too far we will have to keep a bit of an eye on that one i want to go alt x on there so that this one can keep going lower that down and off we trot run this up through here yeah it's go it's definitely going to be a lot faster it's definitely going to be a lot faster. I'm actually thinking that we may 
just may, if we pull our finger out and we concentrate on what we're doing, be able to finish ploughing this field this week. I mean, I don't know about that ploughing. That one may take longer. But we ought to be able to finish this ploughing this week at least. Uh, when it comes to doing the harvest, I might end up having to put a trailer somewhere. Or we may end up having to pull the trailer with a small electric tractor. So that one can just keep chugging along doing the ploughing. I'm tempted to just leave that one doing ploughing. And then this tractor here will then be able to jump back onto the mower and baler so that we can do a bit of silage in this field over here. And we'll be able to keep everything running, keep it all going, keep the ploughing going as well, which um, that's actually something that's quite important to me. I, I do want that ploughing to be finished in time so that then we can get the planting done. Let's lower you down into there and off you go with your next run. I'm liking this. I'm definitely liking this. We've got a nice, great, big field up here. Now, is he going to go and do anything daft this time? Let's, let's uh, just stop that one a second. And I go over and I'll have a look. So what are you doing now? You're coming down that far. It, it's alarming, him going down over the hill. But he doesn't look like he's actually going all that far. I will put a fence line along the edge of the grass line on there when I come to do it. And he's coming up here and... Off he goes again. Right, yeah, that, that's absolutely fine. And then you, you carry on again. Up through this way. And we've got both of them working in the same field once again. This is absolutely brilliant. And we're making our brand new field as well. I'm, I'm really looking... I, I've been looking forward to getting started on this field. Now I'm really looking forward to getting, um, getting started on the first harvest in this field. And, and just sort of seeing... Getting an idea of just how much we're going to get out of it. Right, I suspect we're going to get a very large yield from this field. I think it's going to be absolutely fantastic. It's going to take a little while for the whole baler um, mower contraption to be able to work its way around this field. I know that much. That's, that's a given because we'll go around the outside edge of the field two or three times with the tractor and mower anyway. That's going to take a while. Then we've got to let it start doing the baling. We'll have to start at the bottom of the hill because the bales will naturally drop downhill a little bit. So if we start the la if we start the sort of side to side land work from the top of the field, we're going to end up with bales getting in the way. Uh, so we will start from down on that side and let the hired help just work its way up the hill with the baler and the mower and hopefully make us an absolute fortune doing everything that it's supposed to do getting all of the all of the bales up and and done and ready i yeah it's it's going to be interesting to see how it works with that because even just going straight up and down the hill we still it, it still struggles a little bit at times because it doesn't quite get everything all um lined up perfectly and so we end up having bales getting caught under the tractor that sort of thing so far i've not been able to find a mod that would be suitable for replacing the front mower the only thing that i'm looking at is like anything much wider than the one that we're using ends up being um it's, it's it doesn't leave it as a swathed row and because it doesn't leave it swathed up it's completely useless for our purposes the only other thing that we can do really is just put the hired help going with more mowers and then row it all up afterwards and then go and bale it in a more traditional manner but that does mean that i would have to drive the baler or i'd have to set up course play on it and i don't want to use course play on the hardcore series there's one thing i've said right from the beginning i will use course play on the other series but i don't want to be using course play on the hardcore series because it just doesn't feel like it's hardcore enough I use the hired help, and I'm happy to use hired help, and we did have stipulations that I couldn't use hired help at all until I had bought somewhere for them to stay, for them to live. Um, and that's something that I'd be interested in hearing your views on for our next series. We're going to be doing a contracting series for our next series, our next hardcore series. The idea will be that we earn our money through doing contracting, and what the uh, finishing conditions will be I'm not quite sure whether we've got to own a set amount of land or set number of machinery or something like that. 
Because to start with, we'll be borrowing machinery from the farmers to do the various different jobs. But as we move on and as we improve, we'll be able to buy our own machinery, which means that we'll be able to make more money. Now, the big question, though, is when do we start getting employees? Because at some point, as a contracting business builds, you're going to want employees. And honestly, I don't want to have to manually drive every single mission because that will end up taking an awful long time. Um, and I was also thinking of using a mod that allows us to take more than one mission at once. If I can do that, that will also help improve things. So there is a stump. I don't know if that's a tree stump or if that's a little bit of... No, that is actually a tree stump. So we'll have to go and pick that one up at some point soon. Not just, not not at the moment, but I've definitely got one tree stump right there that we're going to need to deal with. So, I mean, the plow probably won't go over that one. You'll probably ignore that one completely. Um, but yeah, so the, the contracting thing, I don't want to go and do all of the contract work myself. I mean, I could do, we could just use the GPS. I don't know if the uh, borrowed tractors will have GPS on them even. So it might be that we're not able to do that to start with, but we could then get GPS systems fitted onto our tractors later on. Um, and I may end up having to do all of it, you know, actually having to do it all manually and using the GPS to do it. But uh, I, I kind of prefer not to use the GPS um, for everything and then be allowed to use some hired help. This one here, the stipulation for hired help was they had to buy a place for them to live. And then I can use up to three hired help because they've got a, a nice big caravan down there to live in. So maybe we'll have to do something like that in the new series. But anyway, we'll worry about that one when we get to the new series. I've got... Yeah, it's right over there. Uh, I haven't seen any other stumps yet. Just that one. We, we've already cleared the other two that we did show up. Um, but I've run out of time. We're making some good progress here. I'm still reasonably confident that we can finish this entire job before the end of tomorrow's episode. Um, although I'm slightly less confident now because there's still quite a surprising chunk of this field to do. We'll have to wait and see. If you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later. I'm going to stop right there so that I know where that one is ready for our next episode.